everybody. It's story time. It's breaking bullshit story time. I'm going to tell you a little story and it's going to mean something to you or reveal itself actually in a second. So back in the late 1970s, a guy named Randall Terry dropped out of high school and just started doing odd jobs and wandering around the country just doing stuff. Uh, he was lost and he found himself at the Elm Biblical Institute, I think in upstate New York. He met a gal there, they fostered some kids, I think they had some kids. Uh, and one of the kids that, or a couple of the kids they fostered were from a woman in prison. Um, and he was very proud of that and actually added his fostering kids to his um, resume of things that made him a moral person. Um, he decided that rescuing <clears throat> one of those kids um, from the fate of abortion was what is gonna be his path going forward. And so he found himself uh, organizing a little organization called Operation Rescue, where he would chain himself to the sink of abortion clinics, uh, he created environments where he would get many people to chain themselves to the door of abortion clinics. He would threaten abortion providers. He actually did so much damage that he was sued by now because clinics actually couldn't stay open because they couldn't provide services with which to stay open. Uh, when he was found to have financial damages, he immediately filed for bankruptcy so that the clinics couldn't get paid. And when Congress actually tried to insert a bill into the FACE Act, which tried to prevent people from actually shutting down businesses by protest, um, they took it out. So eventually, um, years later, the Supreme Court ruled in favor of Randall Terry because apparently it's perfectly okay to destroy access to abortion clinics. So Operation Rescue grew and grew and eventually Randall Terry became even too sketchy for the people he founded it with. So he wandered off and now we're going to introduce you to the new founder of Operation Rescue. So let's go to the board where we have some things that you can learn. So we kind of went over this. Randall Terry, that's Randall Terry. You know, he, he, he did this. His, his famous thing was, if you believe abortion is murder, then act like it's murder. I don't know what that means, but it sounds really threatening. <coughs> so, <clears throat> he stepped out, transitioned to this guy, Keith Tucci. Nobody really knows a lot about him, except that he really kept that hatefulness going. But Troy Newman, <coughs> yes, Troy Newman, the blonde, strapping Troy Newman takes over in 1999. He stays there and then decides he wants to move to Wichita in 2002 so they can focus primarily on Dr. George Tiller, who was providing late-term abortion care for people who really needed it. So, Operation Rescue moves to Wichita. Troy Newman is now president. They use this organization constantly to target abortion providers all over the country, but really focusing on Dr. Tiller. Dr. Tiller is killed in 2010. Nine. Nine. Um, when Dr. Tiller was killed, uh, Operation Rescue itself denounced the killing of and said we have nothing to do with the person who killed him Scott Roeder we don't know him we've never met him but small scary fact is that Scott Roeder the killer a came back with that's interesting because I've received to the tune of a thousand dollars that show I've actually contributed to your organization and I've actually had posts on your site condoning the killing of abortion providers not to mention awkwardly the cell phone number of Troy Newman's <coughs> uh, co-author of his book and also executive also at Operation Rescue, Cheryl Sollenberg, her cell phone number was found on the dashboard of Dr. Tiller's assassin's car. Mm. 
slightly awkward. So, they act like, oh, we had nothing to do with that. But our friend Randall Terry, he issued a statement, the founder of Operation Rescue, when Dr. Tiller was died, Dr. Tiller was killed, that said, and Abby will read it for you. <clears throat> it said, George Tiller was a mass murderer. We grieve for him that he did not have time to properly prepare his soul to face God. I am more concerned that the Obama administration will use Tiller's killing to intimidate pro-lifers into surrendering our most effective rhetoric and actions. Abortion is still murder, and we still must call abortion by its proper name, murder. So, <clears throat> they of course backtracked on that statement, and finally in 2006, they decided that um, <clears throat> there, was, there was a little bit of an infighting. Troy Newman felt like Randall Terry was not hateful in the right way. And so Troy, uh, Randall Terry was suing Troy Newman for use of the name Operation Rescue. Well, all of the old guard that used to be involved were like, you know what, we're going to side with Troy Newman because Randall Terry has been bilking people out of money, all these poor bro lifers out of money for a really long time, and we are siding with him. So, Operation Rescue is now Operation Save America, but this, uh, Randall Terry is now that. Here, here, we're back here with Troy Newman. Now, Troy Newman is very, very excited about one Jeff Jefferson Beauregard Sessions. In fact, so much so that when Jefferson Beauregard Sessions was appointed to be the nominee for Attorney General, oh my God, there was, it was very exciting. Troy Newman actually said, this is great, we are super psyched. Operation Rescue can't wait because Operation Rescue has done some projects with Jefferson Beauregard Sessions and we're excited to be in the business with Jefferson Beauregard Sessions again. So, the exciting statement that came forward when <clears throat> he was actually confirmed was written by Cheryl Sullenberg, who just to remind, just to review, is the woman whose cell phone number was on the dashboard of Dr. George Tiller's assassin's car and who co-wrote the book with known terrorist affiliate Operation Rescue President Troy Newman. So, Cheryl Sullenberg crafts a statement from Operation Rescue saying, we are offering our services to Jefferson Beauregard Sessions to make sure that they can help him implement the laws when it comes to how we deal with abortion providers and if they break the law. So, why am I telling you this? Because that is fucking crazy shit. Do you actually want somebody whose founder actually encouraged and celebrated the assassination of Dr. Tiller, someone whose organization helped aid and abet and gave information to Dr. George Tiller's assassin and denied it, someone who is constantly trying to destroy <coughs> abortion access and also terrorize physicians to be helping Jefferson Beauregard Sessions decide how to protect abortion providers? I don't think you do. So, I'm gonna ask you to do something. Let's move down here. Here's what we need. Thank you to Repro Action. If you're not following Repro Action, please do. They are incredible. We will put their Twitter handle and their Facebook page in the comments here. Thanks to Repro Action, they have suggested that you maybe call the office of <laughs> Jefferson Beauregard Sessions with a public comment, 202-353-1555, and say, Attorney General Sessions must explicitly bar Troy Newman and Operation Rescue from any form of affiliation or partnership with the Department of Justice and our government. This is key. This is where we call them out. If you are not making this call, or if anybody who considers themselves pro-life, which we all are pro-life, we're actually for life, who can, who can condone any of this and say that they want people like Troy Newman and Cheryl Sullenberg to have the ear of the Attorney General, 
this can't stand. The fact that this didn't make news, the fact that literally a known domestic terrorist, Troy Newman, who by the way, last year, tried to travel to Australia and was detained and not allowed into the country and sent back because they believe the actions of Operation Rescue are the actions of a terrorist organization. So when countries that of course our president decides to insult, allies to America are like, get this fucking guy out of here because he's a terrorist, we don't want him in our country, is now saying, we'd love to help you figure out how to make laws that protect abortion providers. Fuck that shit. Here it is. We're gonna put this actual quote in so you can call the DOJ and say, look, here it is. Do not allow this monster and this organization full of monsters to in any way, shape or form influence what justice means in America. That's your lesson for today. Bye-bye.